Bro, last pick on the board, still looking for a middle lane hero. TK has been banned, as has the Quap and Fuck, Alchemist is not an option in that department. No so minus armor see. again. He's getting in position, and this is ideally where you're gonna fight as oh, a Dark Seer, but. Again, with the plays. The vision from Koi Quas Firefly, coupled up with the blink initiation from Cinderin, means that VP this might. It could be Aloha not getting caught. Oh! Can Cinder in with the place, kiting out from that uh, rage life sealer. BP's done what they needed to. They've slowed down this takedown on Roshan. They've uh, spooked No Diggity a little bit. They bought some time, but Cinder again, blinking on to No Fear. He's gonna get up again. Eros coming in. He's got the slashes and he'll bring him down without even needing to commit a Blade Fury. There'll be no sun for this fight, and I think that might be the window to open it. Lifesealer has infested into the Storm Spirit though, and this is possibly the best duo to sneak ages. Oh, oh Blink from Quite Far, but it's off the mark. No diggity, they're out of the pit as Aloha Dancer is looking to go on someone again. Cinderin's linking away from the Lifesealer while the Omni Slash will make mince meat out of him. The oh, stun from Kesu catches too, and again sends the Disruptor to the grave. No diggity, right, man. BB, not looking hot in this game number two. Had some confusion with the centaur. I must say, it's looking pretty convincing at this now. And uh, his abyssal blade can't be too far off either. I would imagine they're really going to commit to this. They know that oh. the life is probably got no buyback as they initiate. Quite what's going to start it off. Got another big stun coming up from Kezu, along with a two-man earth spike. The Mingo makes short kick quick work of uh, the dogs here. While Juggernaut brings down the Phoenix. The Aegis expanded on GG is going to get hexed up and brought down. By the lion, Cinderin with a double kill, a well-deserved one indeed. Era and go will look to take down the first set of axes. No fear, doing what he can. You've got the uh, centaur with the stampede expanded again as Era will stop laying fear. No fear, another attack, holds him in position. Uh -oh, There's the static no. going down. G jumps back in. Cinderin will finally take get taken down. While Point Five goes down next, relocate out allows them to get back to safety. But Kezu will get glimpsed right back next with the disruptor. Forces himself down. Now Storm Sprint is there. For the pay, but there is still the barrier, and uh, now we have Soph getting chased out. There is the Ghost Scepter, there is a Greaves. He pops the Greaves, he will survive for a little bit shorter, but no, sir. G takes him out. Era once again laying it down deep. There's a bash. Oh no, on the Storm Spread. This time without buybacks, without buybacks, and all of VP, they might as well throw in the tower now because this game is over. Indeed, it is. VP has got the. Uh... 40 seconds till their course, their first core comes online here as no diggity, they've spotted this, they're going straight for the finish. Yoku will get stunned in his tracks, the wall's been thrown down and Era doesn't have the healing ward available anymore, so he needs to be a little careful here. They will continue to make the damage happen on this tier 4 tower. Yoku and FNG doing what they can, but their best is not enough at this point. Tier 4 is taken down, Kezu, he's now being drawn down as well, you've got a TP coming in from the uh, Phoenix, there's a send back from the glimpse, Kezu's gonna get taken back into the kinetic field and at the very least it looks like BP is gonna get one return kill. No, nope, maybe not even get that. Okay, if he gets out, this is gonna be down. absurd. Uh, he uh, tried. Took a while, but BP managed to finish him up at least. With the high ground of BP. No diggity is gonna know that this is up, but they're popping a smoke uh -oh. on the wrap around the stair. Who gets to jump on who first is the question. Kezu's got the stampede off already, so they're not gonna get enough damage dished out. With the static storm drop, Kezu's finally gonna go down here. He does get a load of stuff on himself at the very end, but G has been hit with the abyssal blade. He's barely gonna zip out the safety for now. With his BKB even expanded quite far, he's on the run as no diggity look like they're getting this turned around on themselves. Era though, he's still at full HP and he's spinning away on the lower dance. He pops the rage and tries to go to work, but he'll get bashed up and drop down. It's a double kill for Era. With G on the run, he's got no more mana to work with. He'll deny himself. Leaving a gem for Cinderin to be picked up. On the back of Yoku, he's running from a wisp. Not every day you get to see a scene like this. But the Darkseer knows. Oh, the buyback. They see blood in the water. They know that there are no buybacks here on Storm Spirit with Juggernaut just bashing away the throne. And we equalize. VP call game in game number two at 43 minutes. So it's now one and one apiece. And Diggity, take it back. 48 to 25. The center pick we were suspecting. It would go wrong for them, but in the end it didn't. So, kind of a mix of cast the curse and why we're not pro players. No, we, Indeed. We, can, we can think about it, but sometimes the pros just know better. And uh, it shows because Keisu is one hell 
AoE stunner. She does that really well. And uh, it just seemed like VP were 